What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Scott Jordan, and today we're gonna be doing part two to the Ways Tune real time tutorial that I did. This time I'm gonna record the vocals live and show you how to automate the plugin. And yeah, I see you at the end of the video though. Alright, cool. So you see my settings right here, and this is how we're gonna record in. So, like, I'm down here somewhere in the base, like, my voice D for this one. So, like, it might switch for for the time being. So, I'm just going to leave it as generic. You see my settings, speed is 0 0.1, no transition 0 0.1. Correction right now is at 100. I'm in the natural minor scale, G sharp, and this is what we're going to do. Look in the fucking say, say no, no, no. <laughs> say no. You feel me? So, like, like. Girl, I've been thinking about you. Nothing going crazy. I've been thinking about you. Wish you were my baby. I've been thinking about you. Nothing going crazy. I've been thinking about you. Wish you were my baby. I've been thinking about you. Cool, so like I just recorded it, so like it should sound the exact same when I drag this down. Like it should sound the exact same. So I'm gonna switch from this one and we're gonna see what it sounds like over here. Let's go. Look in the fucking say, say no, no, no. <laughs> say no, no, no. <laughs> You feel me? So like, like, girl, I've been thinking. show you something else that you can do with the way this tune is like once you set it like you don't have to leave it set let's say you wanted to use it hard on some parts and you wanted to use it softer on some notes or some parts of the hook or the verse let's say you wrapped a little bit in the verse then you switched it up to like um like some melodic and you needed the tune to carry it on so like this is what you can do you can use automation to fix the plugin and have the plugin to where it runs how you want it to run. So you can turn it off and on, or you can change the correction back and forth. And I'm gonna show you how to do it without having to chop it up and put it on another track. The easy way to do it is like, you can hold Command, Option, and Control, and just click where you wanna go. So let's say I wanna um, automate the correction. I hold down those three buttons, Control, Option, Command, and hit enable so it turned red so it's enabled so like if i want to hold it again i can disable it but it's going to be easier for you to go here all right so let's say i want to do a correction find correction go over it okay so it's active it's armed it's ready to go so i'm gonna go here you go back to the track you choose correction so let's say like i have it here I want to play it so let's say like if we wanted it to go from here so let's click here and drag it down a little bit now the correction to be at like 62 or something so pull up the plugin and let's watch what it do so let's play it girl i've been thinking about you nothing going crazy i've been thinking about you but you want my baby i've been So like let's say if you want to do it, you can do it like that, but like in here like the notes kinda like did something crazy. The correction right here. Bring it back up. So like that's if you wanna get like that, like 
it's more doctoring to it. So like after you do it, you can go back and you can tweak it and make the auto tone. Sound. I mean, you can go back and tweak it and make the wave sound sound more smoother, and more cleaner, or something. So that's. Like sometimes I like it to hit like that hard, but other times I don't. So let's just bring it down just a little bit. I don't want to do it too much. Bring it down like by that much. Same thing go for everything else. So like, if I wanted to um automate the note transition, like I would do the same thing I just did for the correction. So like, I would go here, I would go to the note transition, I would add it, then I go back. Cool. Then I go back down here, and boom, we have note transition here. So if we want to change it, you just Bring it out how you want to do it. So, like, if you want to bring it up in certain parts and run it back down, whatever, however you want to do it, because it's going to be the same thing. Depends on like how you want to adjust the plugin or how you want to automate the plugin. So like, you can do pretty much anything. Like you can automate everything. Again, like a shortcut where you don't have to keep going up here and clicking into this every time. You show down, Control Option and Command on for, on for Mac, and like you just click on whatever you want to automate, and it works for any plugin. So you can enable it or you can open up the um, plugin that. You can open up this window that way. Like, it really doesn't even matter. Like, like you can automate. You just can't automate the range. None of these. But you can automate the scale. But, yo, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And be looking for more content.